Let's talk about acceleration. Acceleration is defined as rate of change of velocity with respect to time. Now velocity is a vector quantity, therefore acceleration is also a vector quantity. Average acceleration is defined as change in velocity upon total time taken. It can also be represented by V final minus V initial upon T final minus T initial. There is another kind of acceleration which is instantaneous acceleration. It can be defined as dV by dt or dV vector by dt. It is the instant change of acceleration at any specific point of time. Now clearly acceleration can be either positive or negative because it is a vector depending on our sign convention. Now let us use the concept of the same and try to solve a problem. So over here we have a question that says the position of an object moving along the x axis is given by this equation. This is the position of an object with respect to time. Calculate the following velocity at t equal to 0 and t equal to 2, acceleration at t equal to 0 and t equal to 2, average acceleration between t equal to 0 and t equal to 2. So we have been given position and we have to calculate velocity and acceleration both instantaneous and average. So starting off we know that velocity is simply the rate of change of position with respect to time or displacement with respect to time. So derivative of this expression with respect to time will give me the expression for velocity. So if I differentiate this I will get 10 t minus 60 square. If you have any doubts in the rules of differentiation please go back and watch the video of differential calculus. Similarly if I differentiate velocity with respect to time I will get acceleration as 10 minus 12 t. Now I have got nice expressions for velocity and acceleration. I can plug in the value of time and get my desired result. So velocity at t equal to 0 seconds comes out to be simply 0 meter per second. Velocity at t equal to 2 comes out to be minus 4 meter per second. Acceleration at t equal to 0, now I have to use this equation over here. At t equal to 0 comes out to be 10 meters per second square and at t equal to 2 it comes out to be minus 12 meters per second square. Now Average acceleration between t equal to 0 and t equal to 2 seconds can be given as change in velocity between these two time instants upon total time taken which is clearly 2 seconds between 0 and 2 seconds. So the formula I write is uh, velocity at t equal to 2 seconds minus velocity at t equal to 0 seconds upon total time taken which is 2 seconds. Now the velocity at t equal to 2 is clearly minus 4 and at t equal to 0 is 0. So the average acceleration comes out to be minus 2 meters per second square. I hope this problem clarifies a lot of conceptual doubts for you. Now let's talk about some interesting things that surface when velocity and acceleration are acting simultaneously on a body. So over here the first point says when velocity and acceleration have the same direction or which means they also have the same sign, magnitude of velocity increases meaning the object speeds up. So we have a cyclist here and velocity and acceleration both are pointing in the negative direction, the speed will increase. The same goes in this case. However, when velocity and acceleration have opposite directions or also the opposite signs, the magnitude of the velocity decreases, the object tends to slow down. So over here velocity is negative and acceleration is positive, they are oppositely directed, the object will slow down. The same goes for in that case. Now this phenomena of slowing down because of acceleration is called the phenomena of retardation. Now this should never be confused with the word negative acceleration which simply represents acceleration in the negative direction. So over here this acceleration is, is also negative as well as this acceleration is also negative. But over here this acceleration is making the object speed up and over here it is making the object to retard. So the phenomena of retardation is happening only here and not here. So the word negative acceleration is actually wrong to use for the phenomena of retardation or object slowing down. It is a very important thing which you must remember. So summarizing what we just learned, acceleration is defined as a rate of change of velocity with respect to time. The average acceleration is simply large change in velocity upon large change in time can also be written as V final minus V initial upon T final minus T initial. Instantaneous acceleration is given by dv by dt or dv vector by dt which is derivative of velocity with respect to time. Objects speed up when velocity and acceleration have the same sign or in other words they are pointing in the same direction. Objects slow down or objects retard when velocity and acceleration have opposite signs or are pointing in the opposite direction. When they are pointing in the same direction acceleration helps velocity to grow. When they are pointing in the opposite directions, acceleration hinders velocity and tries to decrease it.
आई होप दीज आइडियाज आर वेरी वेरी क्लियर टू यू थैंक यू